Hey Ragamuffins, SJ here, and welcome to my very first installment of my new series called Kick It or Keep It, where I come to you each week with one, two, or three products that I have been trying out to give you my thoughts uh, regarding this product because I haven't really had a chance to sit down and do a really good review on it. So this way you just get the little, you know, meat and potatoes of those products, and then you can find out, do we kick it or do we keep it? So I'm going to start out with a product that I was super excited to find. I actually got it the first day that it was out at Ulta Beauty. This is the NYX Beauty Balm. Now, it was a little disheartening because there are only three colors for the Beauty Balm. There is Natural, Nude, and I believe the third one was called Golden Glow. I wound up picking this up in Natural. Now, NYX claims that this is perfection in a tube. It even says so right here. Uh, it's supposed to brighten, smooth, moisturize, it's oil-free, mineral-enriched, and it says... Developed to hydrate, prime, and perfect the skin. Great for all skin types. Use as primer or use alone for a beautiful complexion. You get one fluid ounce of this, which is 30 milliliters. What can I say about this? The consistency is not too thick. It's not too thin. It is really like a moisturizer consistency, which is really nice. So, do we kick it? Or do we keep it? keep it. I absolutely love this BB cream. I am so impressed and BB creams never impress me. I have been using Urban Decay's Tinted Moisturizer in Halo, which yes I know is completely discontinued. I have to buy mine on eBay if I run out. And I use that alone and I also use it under some of my foundations. This works amazingly as a primer. Now of course it's not going to blur your pores or blur your fine lines and wrinkles but it doesn't settle into your fine lines and wrinkles so it really does give your face a nice base to lay your foundation on and for the first time seriously when it says it moisturizes oh my gosh it feels so good and my skin feels so hydrated after I put it on I really, really, really was surprised. I really do highly recommend it. $12.99, which as far as drugstore brands is on the steeper side, but I definitely think it is worth the investment. I'm wearing it today. Um, I was not going for like a sheer foundation look. I was just trying to make my skin look a little more uniform as far as covering up some areas that I wasn't too happy with. Threw on some blush, threw on some mascara, and I went to work. And I actually had people commenting on how glowy my skin looked, so thank you very much for two nicks for this. Next, we're going to move on to something that's actually a skincare product. I bought this a couple weeks ago. I've been using it four days. Now, the reason I'm including this is because I think it's important that we definitely review skincare. No matter what our age, you want to make sure that the products that, you're, that you are using are actually something that you know, hold up to the claim that the company makes. So because I am of a certain age and because I'm very, you know, concerned about losing the elasticity in my face and also losing the collagen, I wound up purchasing the Rock Daily Resurfacing Discs. Now you get 28 self-foaming dual textured discs in this jar right here. <clears throat> and it just opens up like that and they're in there. It says, that rock daily resurfacing discs are clinically shown to help diminish the look of fine lines and wrinkles and improve the appearance of skin in just one week. Infused with skin conditioning cleansers, the self-foaming disc is textured on one side to gently exfoli exfoliate away dirt, oil, and complexion dulling impurities, and smooth on the other side to gently cleanse and remove makeup around the delicate eye area. The result, younger looking, more beautiful skin, gentle enough for everyday use. Now right here on the back it says results after clinical testing. Uh, in just one week, the appearance of fine lines is reduced, skin tone and texture is improved. After four weeks, signs of photo-aging appear, appear diminished. And after 12 weeks, the appearance of wrinkles and pores is diminished as well. So, it's soap-free, oil-free, hypoallergenic, and non-comedogenic. Non Do we kick it? Or do we keep it? I'm happy to say that we keep this one and I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing an in-depth review on this on my blog which is the raggedlife.blogspot.com because I'm going to be doing an update for the first week 
then the fourth week, and then the twelfth week, and then finally do a comparison of everything together to see, does this product really do what they say it's supposed to do? Now, I would love to use other rock products, of course, like their face creams and, you know, the under eye cream and the wrinkle blur filler in her that they have. But right now, I'm just going to stick with this. I think it's best that I don't switch up too much in my skincare regime because that's when the breakouts and the crazy stuff starts to happen. So definitely a keeper for me. And that's it guys, that is all I have for my first week. If there's anything that you would like to see reviewed to find out if we should kick it or keep it, go ahead and comment below in the comment box. Don't forget to stalk me on social media because you know you want to. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at Ragged Makeup TV, and also on blogger theraggedlife.blogspot.com. We have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until next time, we'll see you then.